are with Jeanette Andrioli, and I said that name right because she just told me how to say it. <laughs> this is Anne Bunicor from Everyday People, News Talk 980 WXLM for the Film Industry Mixer 2013. Thanks for joining us. Right now, I'd like to say hello to Jeanette. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having you're me. awfully sweet. You know, you're like a, a woman in disguise, I always think, because you are so very creative, and you're so sort of like understated. But you actually do production design work, and you're really good at it. And I, oh, thank you. You're with Valentino now, is that Valentino it? Pictures, and I often work for Synthetic Cinema International. So tell, I don't know anything about Valentino Pictures or Synthetic Cinema or what you do for them. So okay, great. Take it away. <laughs> well, for um, Valentino Pictures, my husband and I are starting a web series and production company, and that's our new name. You can tell all of you now. <laughs> well, Valentino, where'd that come from? It was his grandfather's name. Ah. So we're keeping keeping the family name in with our, our new family business. <laughs> Scorsese, Valentino, it's exactly. good. Yeah. And then what's the other? Uh... Um, Synthetic Cinema International is a production company out of Rocky Hill, mm -hmm. and they do lots of horror movies, almost entirely horror movies, and uh, oh. lots of them for the <laughs> Chiller Channel, okay. um, which has been fun, actually. It's so much fun. You just cover things in blood, and then you <laughs> figure out various ways. OxyClean is <laughs> how you get everything out of everything afterwards. That's good to know. So as a production designer, what do you actually do from beginning to end? Well, I am one of the first crew members that they bring onto the project and I look at the script and I go, okay, what do we need to see and interact with? Where are we? And I work with the director and the director of photography and figure out what do we want the entire film to look like. Oh. So based off of the script, we kind of go through, okay, let's design this set. We know a location, that location, eh, whatever. We'll find a new one and So when some, make it look someone says to you, we want our film to look like, what would be like, say you were doing a chiller film, right? What would they say to you? We want this film to look, what would the adjectives be like? Mm, it's usually more specific. Like on this last film I did with, um, with for Chiller was, uh, it was Animal, which we just finished filming up in Manchester. Uh, that one was, you know, your traditional kids get lost somewhere in the woods and then, oh my God, there's a monster. So we had this amazing location we found up in Manchester called the Case uh, I think it was the Case family, Something. like some like summer home. It was this huge log cabin mansion. So mm. we found this place, and we're like, okay, we're gonna base our design around the location mm -hmm. because it's amazing. It was built in 1917, and so it had a certain feel gorgeous. to it, yeah. or a certain look, like eerie but gothic, or happy eerie, but spooky. Eerie, huge, <laughs> just timber, like really, really rustic. You know, Adirondack style, um, early American. This is, was the American style, so I really wanted to go with that. And like when I started designing it, I looked for things like, okay, what do I associate Adirondack style with? And but after it's been all hacked up and destroyed and gore covered already, mm -hmm. as they find this place, it's this den of just terrible things. So um, I found things like, <laughs> okay, like taxidermy deer and oh. taxidermy ducklings and just. <laughs> Anything that I could find that was just give you that creepy kind of uh, decayed and like so overwhelming. Once, so once you do that, then do you have to draw it also, or does it just you just it pick depends. the stuff up? Um, a lot of the time, because this is a lower, it's like an ultra low budget SAG modified <laughs> okay. indie thing. A lot of the time, it's based on what I can find. But I do start off with renderings and research, and I go, okay, this is what I ideally would love to have, and I have. Photoshop renderings of what I think I need and mm -hmm. Google SketchUp designs and whatever. And then I go out into the world and I rent things and I borrow things and I buy things from Goodwill is my one of my favorite places. So you're creative <laughs> in more than one way. You're resourceful too in that you not just come up with the concept along with the rest of the uh, team, but mm -hmm. you you go get the stuff and, yep. and you stay within budget. Yeah, that's always a challenge. Right. Every time. Our dreams are always bigger than the wallet that we have. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. So did you go to school to study this, or mm -hmm. where does one learn that skill? I went to UConn for um, set and costume design for theater, and then on my summers off, I would intern on feature films, mm -hmm. and I just kept finding random projects, and I kept getting a little bit more, and then by the time I graduated, I was able to start working full-time. 
just in film. So you do this full-time production design. Yep. That's your career. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> That's wonderful. I didn't know that one could do that. It's challenging. <laughs> you, do you stay in Connecticut or do you travel outside of Connecticut too? So far it's all been Connecticut in the so, last three years. So that's good news, yeah. right? And how do people find you to do this? They, they find the company and then you're with the company? Um, I'm an independent artist, so me, I get hired by word of mouth. Almost every project I've been on has been, hey, this girl, she's pretty good. You should call her. That's like, okay, great. That's cool. cool. That's kudos to you, because isn't that the best way, word of mouth? Mm-hmm. Good. So um, when you're not doing this, or do you live and breathe this all the time? Do you uh, mostly. have other, <laughs> mostly? Yeah. Do you have any aspirations? Uh, apparently you do, because you and your husband have this company, Valentino. What, what sort of web... Tell me the what you're working Valentino on. Valentino Pictures is, it's a, we love horror, apparently. It's <laughs> what we live and breathe when we watch horror movies on you our You don't look time. like you would like horror, but I anyway. I am a weirdo. Um, <laughs> well, don't say that. A good weirdo. You're a good, good weirdo. weirdo. Okay. But yeah, we've got a, a web series that we're making, and that'll go on YouTube, and we just want to make some solid, steady programming that can go straight to the internet, because we think that's where the next network television is going to be. It's going to be agree with online you. where people can see it for free. So, so who writes it? Alexander and I write it together. He writes the original concept, and he gives me a short story, and he's like, okay, format that. And I'll bring it into Final Draft Pro, and I'll go in there and do stuff, and then we flip, flop it back and forth, and eventually we have a script that we want to work on. Okay, so I wasn't sure, but we have to talk about Alexander because he's your partner in Valentino Pictures. Yep. He's also <laughs> your husband. Yes. And you've been married... A year, a little over. Just recently. Yep. <laughs> and you met through film? We did. Um, my first feature film, I was the art department intern, kind of doing most of the art department stuff, and he was the QPA, and he ended up working for me. <laughs> so I was like, I'm it's a new it. world. It's a new world, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> There's too much for me to do. You, here's a hammer. Start working. <laughs> So there's no conflict then, you work well together, even though you're married. Sometimes we butt heads. Mm -hmm. It's been challenging finding out how to work together when, you know, living together is a very different dynamic. So it's been interesting trying to find that, okay, you're in charge now, and I'm just helping you create that vision. Okay. How do I take a step <laughs> back from being overbearing? <laughs> so this web um, kind of series, it, when do we anticipate being able to see it? Probably next year. We really want to make a solid product before we send it out into the world. So we started filming it early this year with the help of my parents, who are actually sitting behind the camera at the moment. Oh, nice. Hi, parents. Um, <laughs> and we've, we've gotten our first couple episodes together. We need to start editing it and putting all the finishing touches in there. And we have four more episodes we want to film this year before we call it a solid season and start yeah. thinking about getting it out there. Beautiful. I wish you much success. And I know we're going to hear more from you, Jeanette <laughs> Andriuli and her husband, Alexander. But right now it's all about Jeanette Andriuli. Thanks for joining us here. Of course. So Thank this you. is the Film Industry Mixer 2013. Ann Bunicor, your host, and uh, Jeanette Andriuli, the uh, celebrity for the moment. Thanks for joining us.